Hey guys, John from the John Muir Show here, and you know, students of all ages are criticized quite a bit nowadays for largely not being as emotionally strong as some of their counterparts from previous generations. So you would think that, you know, students would want to go out there and try and shed that image as quick as possible by trying to, you know, tough it up when things don't go their way. Yeah, that's not happening. And the latest case of lunacy comes from the University of Utah campus. You might have heard about it already. It's just been such a busy week, so much stuff going on, but I had to get to it eventually. Yeah, uh, at the University of Utah for finals week this year, they decided to create something called the Cry Closet. As it implies in the name, students who just feel, as some of the university officials say, overwhelmed by all the tests and the projects that they have to do during the week, they're allowed to go to the library where they set up this temporary safe space where a student for up to 10 minutes can go inside, lock themselves inside of this cry closet. They've got a floor full of stuffed animals that the children can play with while they're in there. And if they so choose, they can let the waterworks start to flow too because they just need to really be able to do whatever their little emotions tell them they want to. And we have to ask ourselves, is this really helping the students? I, I mean, sure, the university officials say, oh yeah, it's gonna make finals easier, uh, finals week a lot more relaxing for them, and they're, they're gonna do better as a result. I mean, I don't know if there's any statistics to back that up, I highly doubt it, but you know where it's not gonna help them do better? In the real world. Because you see all these kids at some point in time are supposed to be graduating the indoctrinating college that they're going to, and when they get to the real world, how many of the businesses that they apply to work for, that they end up working at, are really gonna say, oh yeah, and by the way, as I'm giving you a tour on your first day, this here's you know the bathroom, this is the offices, oh and here's the cry closet. Yeah, I have a feeling there's not gonna be a lot of businesses that offer a cry closet just because things aren't going your way one day. So um, yeah, kids, you're gonna have to grow up pretty darn quickly. For me, I know when I transitioned from high school to college, it was, it was a little bit of a challenge at first for me because I just wasn't expecting it to be as much more difficult with the coursework and all that as it was. But you know what, when I went to college, Fortunately, I did know how to conduct myself in a public setting, like an educational setting, so I had that benefit going for me and I was able to you know, get things on track pretty darn quickly. And for these kids, they're gonna be going from college to the real world, and we know that colleges care more about indoctrinating them with liberal ideology than they do actually teaching them in many cases. So not only are they not going to be academically qualified for the real world, but they're also not going to be qualified on how to conduct themselves in the real world. Because at the University of Utah and a lot of other schools, they give them a safe space whenever they want it and need it. That's not actually helping these kids out. When they get to the real world, hmm. So what's supposed to happen? Are all of us who are professionals that are working in the real world supposed to all of a sudden, you know, spend our time looking at the things that maybe bother some of our younger coworkers and things that were not normally seen as troublesome? Well, they might they might trigger some of our new young liberal coworkers. So we need to, you know, go and learn about that so we can help talk them through any of the problems and maybe even go into the cry closet with them so we can make sure that, you know, that, that their fragile feelings aren't hurt for too long. No, how about this? It's like when people come to a new country, like coming to the United States. We don't adapt to you, you adapt to us. You learn our culture, our language, our way of life, and it's the same thing with these kids. If you're gonna actually come to the business world and you're gonna be trying to conduct yourself in a professional setting, you learn how it is. And you'll better learn pretty darn quickly, we do not have cry closets, we do not have safe spaces. You're going to have to encounter obstacles and you're gonna have to deal with it like a real man or woman, not like a little boy or girl. So, clock's ticking. Why don't you start doing your real learning that you should be in college of how to actually succeed in life? Because right now, University of Utah, you're failing pretty miserably. That is everything that we have for today and for this week. Thank you for another great week. But tune in to The John Muir Show each and every weekday morning starting this coming Monday for plenty more of all my thoughts on everything that's going on in the world. If you can't wait that long, text 79489 and you'll get all the stuff about the show sent directly to your phone. Also, at John Muir WTAQ on Twitter and Facebook. Until next time, have a great weekend. I'm out.